Good morning, mga anak! For, for today, we'll begin our micro-teaching for the subject, Child and Adolescence Literature. So to start off our class, may I request you, anak, to lead the morning prayer. No! Si sir, nagdadasal. Kala mo banal eh, no? Banal ka, sir. Banal eh. <laughs> Dahil joke lang, sir. Joke lang. Oh, eh, di na ba magdasal ang mga banal dyan? <laughs> Dahil joke lang. Then, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, our Father... Who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom, <laughs> your kingdom cow, thy will be done as it heard on heaven. Give us this day our sir Ay, sir, sorry, sir, sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, sana. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those who trespass against us and head <coughs> sorry sir <coughs> sorry sir sorry sir and but and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil in <coughs> sorry sir sorry sir sinisip lang sorry sir so thank you anak for leading our morning prayer so, our lesson for today is a different archetypes by Carl Jun. So, before we tackle our today's lesson, we'll be having a short activity. So, for our short activity, I'll be presenting to you a PowerPoint. The PowerPoint will be consisting of different Disney characters. And it's your job to identify whether it's a villain or the hero of the story. And feel free to raise your hand if you want to answer. So, for our first slide, does anyone want to answer? Sir, ako sir, 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 sir. Yes, anak. Ayan. Ano sir yan? Cinderella. Cinderella yan. That is correct. Good job. Now, for the second slide. Oh. The character is wearing a white dress. Can anyone guess? Sir? Sir? Me? Yes, anak? Uh, sir, ano po atin? Si Snow White? With the seven dwarfs? Yes, that is correct. Thank you, sir. Now, for the third slide. The character has red hair. And a mermaid. Can anyone answer? Si Ariel po yan, sir. Yes, that is correct. Good job. Now, for the fourth slide. Oh, the character is wearing a blue gown with blonde hair. Can anyone answer? Um, sir? Yes, enough. Um, sir, I guess it's Elsa or Queen Elsa from Frozen, sir. Yes, that is correct. Thank you, sir. Now, for the next slide. Ooh. The character is a beast. Can anyone answer? Um, si Beast po yan ng Sleeping Beauty, sir. Oh, you correctly identified the character. Thank you, sir. A job well done, class. We correctly identified each character for each slide. And those pictures are related to this lesson for today. As we move on for our topic for today, I'll be providing you first the learning outcomes. The first learning outcome is able to categorize the different type of archetypes. The second is able to list down the different types of archetypes in a story. 
Third is to assess the significance of the archetypes. Fourth is learning the importance of literature. Next, let's head to the discussion. So for our discussion for today, Carl June presented many different types of archetypes. So rather than differentiating every single one of them, we'll be focusing on the major ones instead. The first archetype that is usually seen in a story is the innocent youth. So for the innocent youth, the innocent youth are usually characters that are usually kind, who is usually known as a protagonist. Protagonists are usually kind, welcoming, and kind-hearted, and they are usually abused or mistreated by the antagonist. For the next archetype is the hero archetype. The hero archetype are usually seen along with the protagonist and usually consist traits such as being brave, being courageous, and being influential. And they're usually seen the bravest out of all the characters. So for the third archetype is the mother figure. The mother figure archetype is usually a female that is usually consists of powerful traits and usually able to help the protagonist throughout his or her journey. So for the last archetype, which is known as the villain archetype. The villain archetype is usually known as the antagonist of the story. The antagonist is usually known for preventing the main character in achieving their goals and making them suffer throughout the journey. Now, after discussing the different archetypes, I will now show you a video. A video which is made by your fellow classmate named Gabriel Dilo. The video is entitled Hansel and Gretel, which is a very, very famous story consisting of many characters. Kindly take some notes because it will help you in the latter part of the discussion. Are you ready with our story? How about you? Are you ready with our story for today? <laughs> awesome! Let's start! Once upon a time, there was a family. The boy was named Hansel, and the girl was named Gretel. The father was a farmer. The mother had died a long time ago. One day, the father married a new wife. The new wife was a stepmother of Hansel and Gretel. Times were hard. For many months, there was no rain. The crops didn't grow. Without crops, there was no food. There was not enough to eat. Now, the family was hungry and poor. One night, the father asked, Wife, what will you do? We do not have enough to eat. Don't worry, the stepmother said. I have planned tomorrow morning. We will take the kids to forest. We will go on a picnic. A picnic, the father said. How will that help? Now, after watching the video, it is your time to shine. I'll group you into three to five members for each group, and you will have a brainstorming session. The brainstorming session will help you share ideas to one another and correctly identify which character for each archetype. And at the end of brainstorming session, you will pick one character and identify which archetype they are. The brainstorming session is now over. Can you go back to your seats? And does anyone would like to volunteer to go first to present? Kami sir, kami sir, kami sir una. Galing kami. Galing. We're proud of our work. Hindi sila pala gumawa. Okay, Ana. Your group may now proceed. Good day everyone, this is our work and uh, we pick Hansel and Gretel in the story and we believe they are the innocent youth because based on the story they are the one who suffer but eventually become strong people in the end. Um, Gretel pushed the witch into the stove 
in order to save their lives. And Hansel is the one who finds their way out, which we also believe makes them the hero of the story. Thank you, sir. Good job, first presenters. You correctly identify which character and which archetype they are. Now for the next presenters. Yee, naya ako, sir. Naya ako, sir. Yee. Kami na ba sunod, sir? Yee, naya ako. Pero sige, sir. Kami na next. Game na, sir. Game na kayo, sir. Oh, kayo, classmates. Ready na kayo? Game na po. Uh, our group pick... <laughs> sir, nagpapatawa si Dailo ko. Uh, our group pick witch and the stepmother of Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> uh, we, we pick Hansel and Gretel. I we ano pala, We pick uh, uh, stepmother and and witch in the story of Hansel and Gretel uh, because we believe they are the villain. Because they are the one who makes the life of of Hansel and Gretel um, worse. So, since the definition of uh, archetype villain is, uh, sir, wait lang na nakinakabang kasi ako sir, eh. papatawa din kasi sila. Eh. Uh, we believe they are the the villain because based on the definition of archetype villain it is the one who makes the life of our of the main character suffer and we believe that the stepmother who tries to eradicate Hansel and Gretel and the witch who tries to eat Hansel and become slave Han uh, Gretel that's why they are the the villain sir Sorry, sir. Sorry. Good job, Anak. That was an excellent presentation. Now, does anyone have any questions or clarifications? Any violent reactions? Oh, sir. May tanong ako, sir. Yes, Anak. Sir. Pwede mag-CR. Hihihi na ako. Since I do not see anyone raising their hands or asking any questions, we will move on. So, as we finish our lesson for today, can anyone share their conclusion or reflection for today's lesson? Anak? Sagutin mo tanong ko, anak. Sagutin mo. Anak? Eto na, eto na, sasagot na, sasagot na. Ilang beses ko bang paulit-ulit ang sinasabi sa inyo na ayoko din na tawag niyo kong anak. Paulit-ulit, paulit-ulit. Kaya hindi kayo nai-respeto, sir, eh. Kasi masyado ng at home yung mga estudyante nyo. Mga bastos na estudyante. Mga baruba na estudyante. Mga walang kwentang estudyante. Alam nyo, sir, na-appreciate ko naman kayo kung bakit nyo ginagawa yan. Ginagawa nyo at home kami sa inyo. Pero hindi mo ba napansin, sir, na masyado na kayong binabasas ng estudyante nyo. Masyado na silang at home at masyado na silang nagiging light sa ginagawa nyo. Hindi naman kasi lahat, sir, eh, eh tatanggapin niyang ginagawa niyo. Oo, sir, ginagawa niyo para mas maging participative kami at para ma-absorb namin yung lessons na ginagawa niyo. Pero, sir, konting boundary naman, sir, konting professionalism lang naman, sir, para kahit papano, marespeto kayo dahil ako na mismo naawa sa inyo. Sir, gising-gising, gumising kayo, sir. Gumising kayo, sir. Anak? Sagutin mo tanong ko, anak. Anong sagot mo? Wala, sir. Hindi ko po alam yung sagot. Pasensya na, sir. As we end our lesson discussion for today, kindly get one piece of pad paper and kindly write an essay about what is the importance of learning the archetypes. Uy, may one hole ka. Kamadamot. May one hole. Sino may one hole? One hole. Thank you, one hole, guys. One hole. One, three, guys. One, three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Um, 
May I recite my paper, sir? Thank you, sir. Archetype is important because it gives us a way on how to be critical of what we are or what we are reading or watching. And lastly, it also gives us a way to better understand a story. Thank you, sir. That's a very brilliant point, Anna. So, our classroom discussion is finally over. So, for your homework, kindly search up the archetype of object. And kindly pick out a Disney movie. And kindly pick out or identify which is the archetype of object. A minimum of three and a maximum of five. And that's all for today's class. See you all tomorrow.